Hello. Today we will start a new topic which is called as polymorphism. Polymorphism. Okay. First understand the topic. We will, I will teach you in a, in a simple way. What is a poly? What is a morphism? Understand this. Poly. Poly means many. Okay. Morphism. Morph means changing one stage to another stage. Changing. Changing one stage to another stage. Okay. This is called polymorphism. Yeah, it can change in the only one thing it can change in any stages. This is simple thing. This is for uh, this is a general meaning of polymorphism. If you come to the uh, uh, technical method, then we will see how it looks like. Uh, see, he, he, here in this topic, we have two types of uh, two types, uh, two types of polymorphism. There are two types of uh, one is overloading, one is overloading. And the one is over riding. Over riding. Okay. And here, uh, what is the over overloading? Overloading extends the functionality. Extends the functionality. And here, over riding replacing the functionality. Replacing. Replacing the functionality. Okay. Functionality. In a simple example, I am going to explain to you about overloading. Example for overloading, we will see now how it looks like. You understand this? Uh, it, it looks very easy and simple. A concept. See, I'm taking a, a class method. We have discussed what is a method in a previous classes. A class method. I'm not going to write all, all the class and all. I'm just writing as the method name is like walk. I'm taking as one method name is walk. Again, I'm taking the same method name walk. With a data type called integer, integer as a number uh, as speed, semicolon. One more, one more method. I'm going to take walk again. I'm taking as a string like name, semicolon, and here again walk traces. String name, string name, comma, integer, speed. See here how it looks like now. The same method name. Okay, the same method name, slight differences with the data types. Okay, in the same class, the same method names I'm using here. Walk, walk, walk. Poly means many. Morphism means changing one stage to another stage. A simple thing. First one is empty, another one is integer speed, another one is string name, string name and integer speed. Okay. This we are going to implement in the class now. Okay. And here we have a Previously, we discussed about the super keyword. Here, we are going to discuss about this keyword. This, what is the keyword? This keyword. The keyword is called as this. This means it will call a method. 
in the same class it will it will call method of the same class of the same class understand the point this keyword it will call the method of the same class here only two points here we are, uh, i'm teaching you now about overloading overloading concept of polymorphism in polymorphism we have two types and that two types are one is overloading another one is overloading now i am teaching you about overloading okay here the important thing is the same method with different data types and we are going to use a keyword called as this keyword here okay remember this now we are going practically now how we can execute that okay i'm here i came now now directly to the developer console i'm going to click on on this now new class class name is i'm writing as poly overloading overloading class overloading class okay poly overloading class see here now now i want to write a, a method what i'm going to write now public void walk with the empty and here system dot debug i'm writing here uh, with no data type with no data type is it clear again second method i'm going to write as public void walk of integer integer what is integer i'm going to write here the integer name is speed okay speed with the key open this close this system dot debug system dot debug uh, integer integer method speed i'm adding here that speed uh, with the name like i already teached about this one plus speed okay plus speed and again i'm going now public void walk of string what is a string here i'm writing as name open braces close braces system dot debug here string name string method name i'm making the name as plus name okay and again one more method public void walk of string name comma uh integer speed open braces close braces system dot debug of string and integer methods methods i did down here yeah here is plus symbol plus, uh, what is that name plus speed right i'm going to save this one now save 
no errors. So we we need to execute this one now. Control E. Control E, then create a instance for this class poly overloading CLS writing as a equal to new p of semicolon a dot walk of semicolon a dot walk of what is here the data type is integer integer speed so i am giving the speed as 30 semicolon a dot walk of oh, oh, walk again here what is the string name here the data type is string so i am going to write in between two quotes like string name is Andrew Hill. Uh, Andrew Andrew Hill. Semicolon again a dot walk of what is that uh, what is again here string name what is the string name here? I'm writing as um, Florence. So how we should write the string name here with quotes Florence Florence Dama again speed is uh, 20. Execute this now. Yeah, I am going to execute this. See the result, how it looks like. See here, with no data type, right? With no data type. And another one is integer method is 30. See here, integer method is 30. And the third one is string method name is Andrew Hill. A third one is string method name is Andrew Hill. And the fourth method is string and integer method is Florence 20. And here, uh, string and integer method is Florence 20. Right? So, we got it all these things. Yeah, right? This is called overloading of polymorphism. See how simple it is now. Is it? How simple? You, you can learn very easily. How simple? Right? In the okay, fine. Till this, we, we have done our, our good one. Now, I'm going to use the keyword for this keyword. So, how I'm going to use that keyword now? I want to write a, this keyword in this section, in this method, like this dot block of what is the integer speed here? I'm mentioning integer speed like 50 here. Semicolon. Okay. Semicolon. Right? And again, what I'm going to do is for string name, see here, for string name, I'm writing it this keyboard again here. This dot walk of string name. What is the string name here? I am writing as Mahi semicolon. Save this now. Save this. I have saved that one. Okay. I have saved that one now. And for E, what I am going to do is the 30. I am going to remove that 30. Okay, and we will see now how it looks like. Execute now. This keyword. See here, I have given Mahi 
Mahi has come now and 50 between uh, 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 for what we have written 50 here and Mahi here see here 50 and Mahi right with 3 and 50 and Mahi right you got it this keyword with this keyword we can call the say uh, uh, we can call the other methods with the same name of the class same class in the same place in the same class we call we can call the other methods okay is it clear now is it clear i hope if it is clear so the, 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 the so if you want to learn very easily, please follow my steps. Okay, please follow my steps. If you want, if you want the other concept, what is meant by overriding, right? What is meant by overriding? If you want to wait for this class, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.